this is about the garbage barge. This is what they got, and I'm sure you all heard it on National Public Radio. <laughs> you see it, you're going to hear it again. <laughs> Written from the point of view of the hapless deckhand, which is my favorite point of view to write from. <clears throat> I shipped on board the break of dawn in 1986, and it was either be a tugboat man or working late in bricks. So I thought I'd skip the mortar board and breathe some salts of the air. Spend a couple years afloat with Captain Duffy St. Pierre. Well, life on board the break of dawn, it didn't pack a lot of thrills. We put anything on the tow rope that would help to pay the bills. You know, when we took that Mobro garbage bar, it was just another job. A leaking, reeking albatross, we were hauling for the mob. <laughs> we picked up that garbage barge in the big Long Island Sound. And on the early morning tide, we were Carolina bound. Underneath the Verrazano and stormy New York skies, just for me and Duffy, St. Pierre, and 15,000 flies. <laughs> We got down past Hatteras, where we were supposed to go. Well, the Port of Moorhead City, they emphatically said no. Hey, we got 3,000 tons of garbage. So where are we going, guys? Said Captain Duffy St. Pierre to 30,000 flies. <laughs> so it's next stop, Louisiana, where we'll drop this freaking rack. It's Mobile and Biloxi. They've already waved us past. The last barge was getting nastier as we got into the Gulf. And Captain Duffy St. Pierre, he started talking to himself. <laughs> well, they waved us off in New Orleans and all down the Texas coast. You know, that barge was getting pretty ripe. It began to roast. You know, we got to drop this damn thing off, said the eye with bloodshot eyes. Captain Duffy St. Pierre and the half a million. <laughs> and they sent out two destroyers from sunny Mexico. And they escorted us with fighter jets and so could we did go. You know, I felt just like some flying Dutchman with some tropical disease. As the break of dawn and the Mogro barge sailed eastward off the leaves. You know that we took some pride in the break of dawn and we kept a ship shape low. But that Mogro barge out on the road that made us a super fun to flow. <laughs> so ask that ancient mariner who stopped at one and three about Captain W. St. Pierre, a million flies in me. <laughs> Duffy's on the radio, and he's mostly screaming, please, until we finally got permission to head back to the Keys. <laughs> you know, I was tempted to swim to Cuba as we went steaming by. Me and Duffy St. Pierre and at least two million flies. <laughs> you know, five miles out from Key West, we were boarded by the bed. It's just ordinary garbage. Not toxic waste, they said. So it's back up on the Gulf Stream, and New York regains the prize. Me and Duffy St. Pierre, and at least three million flies. <laughs> back in Brooklyn, we dropped the tow line. We've been 6,000 miles or more. We've been almost four months out to sea when we got back to shore. And with a hand that threw the monkey's fist, I gladly wave goodbye to Captain Duffy St. Pierre and every single fly. <laughs> <laughs>